Have you ever been excited about starting a new project or working towards a new goal? You've done your research, you've gathered up your materials and your resources, and now it's time to start. And once you start, your motivation is high. Nothing can stop you until that one thing that threatens to derail your project or stop you on your way to your goals. Well, today we're talking about my goal, my goal towards losing over a hundred pounds. And that one thing is chronic illness. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Miranda and this is From Fluffy to Foxy. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I'm sorry, it's been so long since I've posted my last video, but as this video will explain, it's due to my chronic illness. And if you are new, I'm gonna go over some of that with you today. As I've gone over in previous videos, I suffer from a couple of chronic illnesses, a couple I've been born with and a few are not and completely within my control. If you're new, let me explain. So I was born with what's called Chiari malformation. It means that I have a smaller than average skull with an adult brain, which means that there is not enough room for all the spinal fluid inside my head. This causes a number of different problems. One is that there isn't enough spinal fluid inside my head, creating a problem with a susceptibility to concussions, which means I have to protect my head because if it does get bounced around off of objects or the ground, I am more likely to get a concussion. And the second, it causes a problem with one of my current medical conditions called idiopathic intracranial hypertension, which I'll get to in a moment. This has caused a joke in my family because baseball hats don't fit right on my head. Um, they look awkward and don't fit right. I can wear my son's youth medium hockey helmets, as well as the larger size I can wear for my ski uh, helmet as an adult small with all the inserts in and I still have to wear a balclava and a beanie in order for it to fit right. The other disorder that I was born with is elders Danlos syndrome. This is a problem with your connective tissue in your joints and makes you or makes me hypermobile. Um, very fun at parties as you can bend yourself in a number of different ways and obviously it uh, can make you very flexible and I got a nickname of Gumby but not very good when you get older and those joints start to deteriorate. I now have a problem with one of my hips and my shoulders are giving me a problem that has now put me into physiotherapy. So these are the two conditions that I was born with. Not much I can do. I just have to be proactive with how I manage them going forward. The other two conditions I can manage, the first one being idiopathic intracranial hypertension that I mentioned earlier. This one causes intense migraines and causes pressure in my head and around my optic nerves. It feels like my eyes are going to pop out of my head. It's very painful, not very nice. It also has, for me, a side effect of vertigo. If you've ever had vertigo, it is not a fun thing to have. If you've never had it, it feels like you're walking on a little kid bouncy house, but that bouncy house is also spinning. This particular disorder is managed mostly through losing fat. So because I am an obese woman, I have more problems with this disorder. The reason for this is because adipose tissue is hormonally active. Those hormones specifically are estrogen. Estrogen causes an increase in spinal fluid production and therefore causes the increase in spinal fluid pressure. And because I have Chiari, it causes an even greater pressure on my head because there isn't enough room for that spinal fluid in my head. So unfortunately, the only way that I can manage this is by losing weight. So that is one of the reasons why I am going on this weight loss journey. The second condition is chronic fatigue syndrome. This particular disorder causes extreme exhaustion as well as dizziness and headaches and a number of other uh, symptoms. 
it feels like you are wearing a wet weighted blanket around with you all the time and in my case it feels like I have a low battery all the time and any physical or mental stress or any physical or mental exertion will cause that battery to drain quicker. In fact, at sometimes that battery drains so quick. In other words, I feel tired quicker that you could not pay me to stay awake. I literally will fall asleep at any time in the day, depending on when that stress takes place, whether I've been physically or mentally active. And that could be 10 o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the afternoon, it doesn't matter. I could literally fall asleep when that hits and you could not pay me to stay awake. It is exhausting all the time. And to have this particular disorder is probably the worst I've ever felt. I've had idiopathic intracranial hypertension for almost a decade and I've learned to manage, but this particular one is more stressful than any of the other ones I've had. And this is the condition that has currently caused me to be off of YouTube for the last over three months. It has caused the extreme exhaustion and I could not do anything related to online activities let alone filming videos, editing, posting, any of that sort. During this time, I was able to get the last little bit of 30-day um, challenge, no fast food challenge that I had already done right when it started, right before it hit really bad. And that was all I could do before I was almost bedridden. And now that I am functioning, not better, but functioning, I'm able to come back and start posting again. So I apologize for being off for so long. It has been a roller coaster of a couple of months, but we have successfully gotten through the down and we are coming back up and we are out of that valley and starting to get back to where we were before. It's not quite there yet. There are times when I'm still very exhausted. Um, but I am going to be starting a new challenge and I'm hoping that that will ease the symptoms and hopefully get me back on track to where I was because I'm going to post some numbers now that you'll see that I have not been where I needed to be with the fact that I was practically bedridden and not able, able to do much of anything. The weight crept up a little bit over the last three months and I was not happy with where it's landed so far because I literally was unable to do anything. And now that that is done and I'm able to go back to working out again, going back to my martial arts, starting to get back to where I was physically, thanks to my doctor's approval, I'm hopefully going to be seeing that go back down to where it was and continuing back towards my goal weight. And we're going to be seeing some positives going forward. And that's what this upcoming challenge is all about. So hopefully you will stick around for the next video and see what that's all about. If you're new and you want to see exactly where I was when I started this journey and see the difference between now and then, click here and see this video and this will show you all of my starting measurements and data and you can see exactly where my journey began until next time